Hello guys, in this video we will solve this question determine the range of the following expression the following expression has four expression we have to find the range of these four expressions so let us find that the first expression is x square plus x plus 1 divided by x square minus x plus 1 first we consider that y is equals to this total expression that is x square plus x plus 1 divided by x square minus x plus 1. Now send, now, now send this whole term to the left hand side. We will get x square minus x plus 1 with this whole multiplied by y is equals to x square plus x plus 1. On multiplying this we will get x square y minus x xy plus y is equal to x square plus x plus 1. Now bring this whole term to the right hand side. We will get x square y and uh, on sending x square to the left hand side that will be minus x and minus xy minus x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. From these two terms take x square as common we will get y minus 1 and from these two terms take minus x as common we will get y, y plus 1 and this y minus 1 will be as it is. So this is a quadratic expression where the value of a is y minus 1, the value of b is minus of y plus 1 and the value of c is y minus 1. So if this so this quadratic expression have real values therefore we consider that expression will be greater than or equal to zero so as we know that the value of discriminant is b square minus 4 ac by 2a so on substituting abc values we will get minus of y plus 1 whole square minus 4 ac a is y minus 1 and c is also y minus 1 which will be greater than or equal to 0. So on solving this we will get y square plus 2y plus 1 minus of y plus 2y plus 1 we do this y uh, this will be y minus 1 whole square so this will be y square minus 2y plus 1 this will be greater than uh, or equal to 0. So on multiplying 4 to this whole term, we will get y square plus 2y minus 1 minus 4 y square plus 8y minus 4. This will be greater than or, or equal to 0. Now we will get 4y square will be minus 3y square and 2y plus 8y will be 10y and 1 minus 4 will be minus 3. This should be greater than or equal to 0. Now, from this term, take minus as common. If we take minus as common, we will get 3y square minus 10y plus 3 less than or equal to 0. Because if we take minus as common, then the, the sign of the expression will change. From this, we will get less than or equal to 0. Now, we have to solve this expression that is we need to find the roots of this expression so 10 minus 10 y can be written as minus 9 y minus y so 3 y square minus 9 y minus y plus 3 will be less than or equal to 0 basically clear we apply the butterfly butterfly method from these two terms we take 3y as common we will get y minus 3 from these two terms if we take minus 1 as common we will get y minus 3 so so we got y minus 1 and y minus 3 less than or equal to 0 now the the this will be less than or equal to 0 if the values lie if the values of y lies so if the value of y lies in between 1 by 3 and 3 then this will be less than 0. So how to tell the values of this like in between? I will tell you a simple trick to say that 
how the values lies in between this between this range so consider that on solving that equation you got y y minus a into y minus b less than or equal to 0 then first we have to find the roots that is required this term to 0 and this term to 0 you will get two values of y that is y is equals to a and y is equals to b so a will be a will be a will be less than or equal to b therefore if this condition occur then the y range from y will have a range from a less than or equal to y less than or, or equal to b if you got y y minus a into y minus b as greater than 0 then the range will be y less than or equal to a or y greater than or equal to b you will get these two two conditions only in the case of less than or equal to y value will range from a to b and in the case of greater than or equal to you will have y should be less than or equal to a or greater than or or, or equal to b so so for for this question as we got 3y minus 1 into y minus 3 less than or equal to 0 first we equate each term to 0 we will get 3y minus 1 equal to 0 we will get 3y is equals to 1 and y is equals to 1 by 3 so on equating y minus 3 to 0 y minus 3 to 0 you will get y is equals to 3 therefore we got two two values of y 1 by 3 and 3 now 1 by 3 is less than 3 therefore the range of y will be 1 by 3 less than or equal to 3 as i said as i said in the trick that if this is less than or equal to then y value will range in, in between a and b for this expression the a is 1 by 3 and b is 3 now coming to the second x plus 2 divided by 2x square plus 3x plus 6 now consider that y y is equal to this whole term and send this to the right hand side you will get 2x square plus 3x plus 6 this whole will be multiplied to y which will be equal to x plus 2 on solving this we will get a quadratic expression like this that is 2y into x square plus 3y minus 1 into x plus 6y minus 2 is equals to 0 so we have to consider that discriminant will be greater than or equal to 0 that is b square minus 4ac will be greater than or equal to 0 so here b is 3y minus 1 so 3y minus 1 whole square minus 4a a is 2y and c is 6y minus 2 this will be greater than or equal to 0 so on solving that we will get 9y square minus 6y plus 1 minus 48y square plus 16y greater than or equal to 0 so on this 9y square minus 48y square will, will be minus 39y square and minus 6y plus 10y minus 6y plus 16y will be plus 10y and this plus 1 will be as it is this will be greater than or equal to 0 now take minus as common so if we take minus as common then we will get 39y square 
39y square minus 10y minus 1 less than or equal to 0. As we take minus common, this sign will be changed. On solving this, we will get 13y plus 1 into 3y plus 1 less than or equal to 0. So first, equate this to this. Now, equate this to 0, we will get 13y is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 1 by 13. On equating the second term to the 0, we will get the value of y as 1 by 3. As I said that, if this expression will be less than or equal to as I said that if this is less than or equal to 0, then the value of y lies in between the two, two roots. As we got the two roots as minus 1 by 13 and 1 by 3. Therefore, the value of y lies in the range of minus 1 by 13 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 by 3. So the now coming to the third expression, the third expression says that x minus 1 into x plus 2 divided by x plus 3. First equate this term to the y that is y is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 2 divided by x plus 3. Now send this x plus 3 to the left hand side. We will get x plus 3 into y is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 2. So, on, on solving this, we will get a quadratic expression that is x square plus x into 1 minus y minus 2 minus 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 2 minus 3y minus 2 minus 3y is equal to 0. Now consider the discriminant as greater than or equal to 0. Now consider the value of discriminant as greater than or equal to 0. Now we will get 1 minus y whole square plus 4 into 2y plus 3y into 1 greater than or equal to 0. Basically, this 1 is a and minus 2y minus 3y is c. From that, we take minus as common. We will get 2 plus 2 plus 3y and that minus and this minus will become plus. So, on solving this, we will get y plus 1 into y plus 9 y plus 1 into y plus 9 greater than or equal to 0. As I said that if this will be greater than or equal to 0 then the y value will be less than or equal to a or y value will be greater than or equal to b. So, from this, if we equate y plus 1 to 0, we will get y is equal to minus 1. And on equating this, we will get y is equal to minus, minus 9. As from that, the value of a is minus 9. And b is minus 1. As I said that a should be less than b. Therefore a will be minus 9 and b will be minus 1. So the, so the value of y will be less than or equal to minus 9. Or y value will be greater than or equal to minus 1. This will be the range. This also can be written as, as y value is less than minus 9, this will be from, this y ranges from minus infinity to minus 9 and as y value should be greater than 1, as y value should be greater than minus 1, that will be minus 1 less than or equal to y, 
less than or equal to infinity. So this is the value of this is the range of the given expression. Now coming to the last one that is 2x square minus 6x plus y divided by x square minus 3x plus 2. First equate this to y. First equate this expression to y. We will get a quadratic equation that is 2 minus y into x square minus of 6 minus 3y of x plus 5 minus 2y is equal to 0. Now consider the discriminant value is greater than or equal to 0. Now if we consider the discriminant value that is b square minus 4ac greater than or equal to 0, we will get minus of 6 minus 3y whole square minus 4 4 into 2 2 minus y into 5 minus 2y greater than or equal to 0. On solving this we will get y square minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So this will be y this 4 can be written as 2 square therefore this will be y minus 2 into y plus 2 into y minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So as I said in the case of greater than or equal to 0 the value of y will be less than or equal to to the smallest value this the smallest value from this will be first let us equate this to 0 y plus 2 is equal to 0 we will get y is equal to minus 2 and from this we will get y is equal to 2 therefore the y will be less than or equal to the smallest that is minus 2 or y will be greater than or equal to the biggest from 2 that is 2. Therefore, this is the range of the given expression. Thank you.